Danielle Rose Collins, born December 13, 1993, is an American professional tennis player. She has reached career high WTA rankings of number 7 in singles and number 79 in doubles. Collins has won three WTA Tour singles titles, including a WTA 1000 title at the 2024 Miami Open and one doubles title. She reached a major singles final at the 2022 Australian Open. Collins played collegiate tennis at the University of Virginia and won the NCAA singles title twice during her sophomore and senior years in 2014 and 2016. She finished her career in Virginia as the top-ranked collegiate player. Having first established herself on the WTA Tour when she reached the semifinals of the 2018 Miami Open as a qualifier, her breakthrough came at the 2019 Australian Open where she advanced to the semifinals, defeating world number 2 Angelique Kerber en route. Collins was also a quarter-finalist at the 2020 French Open in singles and a semi-finalist at the 2022 Wimbledon Championships in doubles. Early Life Collins is the daughter of Walter and Kathy Collins. She graduated from Northeast High School, St. Petersburg, Florida, in 2012. She trained at the Isla del Sol Yacht and Country Club in St. Petersburg for six years and IMG Academy from 2010 to 2012. She was considered the number two recruit of the class of 2012 and she received a scholarship from the University of Florida. College career Collins played one season of college tennis for the Florida Gators, going 24-8 in singles. She then transferred to the University of Virginia, an Atlantic Coast Conference ACC, school. Collins had a stellar career with the Virginia Cavaliers, with a cumulative record of 101-20, named to the All-ACC first team in all three seasons, she helped Virginia win consecutive ACC championships in 2014 and 2015. At the NCAA Championships, she became the first Cavalier to the win the singles title in 2014 and became the seventh two-time champion in 2016. She finished her college career in 2016 as the nation's top-ranked player and received the Honda Sports Award for tennis. Collins graduated from Virginia with a bachelor's degree in media studies and business. She returned to University of Florida for graduate school to earn a master's degree in sports management in a program partnering with the WTA. Professional career 2009 to 2012 and 2009, Collins played her first events on the ITF women's circuit. She won her first ITF singles title in 2011, 2013 to 2017. WTA Tour debut and turning professional she did not play any professional matches in 2013 and 2015 while she was playing college tennis at Virginia. Collins made her WTA Tour main draw debut as a wildcard player at the 2014 U.S. Open in the Arthur Ashe Stadium, where she forced second seed Simona Halep to a third setter in the first round. In mid-2016, she turned fully professional. During her time on the ITF circuit, she won four singles titles. 2018, breakthrough in top 50 Collins at the 2018 U.S. Open Collins started the year reaching the final round of qualifying at the Australian Open before being outclassed by Denisa Alertova in two sets. However, she received a wild card at the WTA 125 tournament at Newport Beach and claimed the title there, which saw her rise to a career high ranking of number 120 at that time. Another impressive run at another WTA 125 tournament, this time in Indian Wells, saw her reach the quarterfinals and thus earn a wild card for the Indian Wells Open, a premier mandatory tournament that also takes place there. There, she won her first ever WTA Tour match against compatriot Taylor Townsend before beating world number 14, Madison Keys, in straight sets, followed by a victory over Sofia Zook. Although her run ended in the fourth round against former world number 6, Carlos Suarez Navarro, Collins made her top 100 debut, jumping from number 117 to 93, getting through the qualifying rounds at the Miami Open, Collins beat world no. 37, Irina Camellia Begu, in straight sets, before upsetting two-time major semi-finalist Coco Vandewey, in three sets. 
Victories over Donna Vakic and Monica Puig followed, before she earned the biggest victory of her career, beating her idol, former world number one and seven-time Grand Slam champion, Venus Williams, who was the eighth-ranked player coming into their encounter. With this win, she became the first qualifier ever to reach the semifinals at the Miami Open. She then faced sixth-seeded Yelena Ostapenko and lost in straight sets, despite having a set point in the first set. After making it to the quarterfinals in Monterey, Collins broke into the top 50 for the first time. Collins only won back-to-back -back main draw matches at two other tournaments the rest of the season, reaching the third round of the Eastbourne International and the semifinals in San Jose, both premier-level events, and lost in the opening round at the remaining three Grand Slams. Nonetheless, she finished the year ranked number 36 in the world, more than 100 spots above her previous best year-end ranking. 2019 Major Semi-Final Top 25 Wimbledon Doubles Quarterfinal Collins at the 2019 French Open Her rise continued at the Australian Open. Prior to the tournament, she had never won a match at a major event. After upsetting 14th seed Julia Gorges in a tough first-round match, Collins won her next three matches in straight sets, first against Seiki Vickery, then against 19th seed Caroline Garcia. In the round of 16, Collins pulled off the biggest upset of the tournament, dominating the second seed and three-time major champion Angelique Kerber in straight sets. She thus reached the quarterfinals, where she defeated Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova in three sets. In the semifinals, she lost to 8th seed Petra Kivitova in two sets. Collins rose to a career high ranking of number 23 on January 28, 2019, following the tournament. She also recorded wins at all the other major events, reaching the second round at the French Open and U.S. Open as well as the third round at Wimbledon. She achieved her best ever Grand Slam doubles result at Wimbledon, reaching the quarterfinals with Bethany Mataxans. Collins struggled outside of the majors though, reaching the quarterfinals at just one tournament, the Charleston Open. In December, she won the Hawaii Tennis Open, an exhibition tournament, upon the withdrawal of her finals opponent Angelique Kerber. Collins finished the year ranked world number 31. At the end of 2019, Collins revealed that she was suffering from rheumatoid arthritis, similar to Caroline Wozniacki. 2020, French Open quarterfinalist Collins at the 2020 Australian Open Collins began 2020 with three wins over top 15 opponents. She defeated world number 5, Alina Svitolina, in the first round at the Brisbane International before falling to world number 13, Madison Keys, in straight sets in the quarterfinals. The following week at the Adelaide International, she defeated number 15 Sophia Kennan in the second round, and then number 7 Belinda Bensick in the quarterfinals. Collins fell to world number 1, Ashley Barty, in three sets in the semifinals. She lost in the second round to Yulia Putinseva at the Australian Open and dropped outside the top 50 due to failing to defend her semifinalist points. Due to the six-month shutdown of the WTA Tour caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, Collins did not play again after the Australian Open until August. She lost in the opening round of her first two tournaments back, to Jill Teichman at the Western and Southern Open and Annette Contevet at the U.S. Open. However, Collins rebounded at the French Open where she reached her second career Grand Slam quarterfinal. Along the way, she upset two-time Grand Slam champion and former world number one, Garbina Muguruza, in the third round, handing the Spaniard her earliest exit from Roland Garros since 2013, as well as 30th seed Ons Jabeur, both in three sets. Her run ultimately came to an end against compatriot and reigning Australian Open champion, Sophia Kennan, in a match that for both players was their fourth three-setter of five matches. 2021, first WTA Tour title, return to top 30 Danielle Collins was sidelined for the first half of the season with debilitating pain in her back. She was diagnosed with endometriosis and proceeded to have a tennis ball-sized cyst removed. In addition to that surgery, Collins was also taking medication for rheumatoid arthritis. Collins won her first WTA Tour title at the Palermo Ladies Open, defeating Elena Gabriela Ruse in straight sets in the final. The following month, she won her second WTA title at the Silicon Valley Classic, defeating Daria Kasakina in three sets. 
the Silicon Valley Classic win marked her first WTA 500. Title As a result, she re-entered the top 30 at world number 28 on August 9, 2021. She then continued her win streak at the Canadian Open. She beat Jill Teichman in the first round and then went on to defeat sixth seed Simona Halep in the second. Her 12-match win streak eventually came to an end in the third round after losing to compatriot Jessica Pagula in three sets. At the U.S. Open, she reached the third round for the first time after defeating former world number no. 6, Carla Suarez Navarro, and Kaya Juvin. She then lost her third round match to Irina Sabalenka in straight sets. In her next two tournaments, Collins reached the quarterfinals in Chicago in the third round in Indian Wells before concluding her season in Linz, where she was forced to retire in her semi final match against compatriot Allison Risk due to a shoulder injury. Nonetheless, Collins finished the year ranked inside the top 30 for the first time at number 29. 2022 Major Finalist, Top 10, American number 1 at the Australian Open, Collins reached the semifinals for the second time after defeating 19th seed Elise Mertens to become the third American woman in the quarterfinals. It was the second year in a row that three Americans have featured at this stage of the tournament. In the quarterfinals, she beat Alize Cornette in straight sets. She defeated IGA Swiatek also in straight sets in the semifinals to advance to her first Grand Slam final, where she faced world number one, Ashley Barty. Swiatek said that Collins hit the fastest balls I have ever played in a match. In the final, Collins lost in straight sets despite being 5 to 1 up in the second set. As a result of her performance, Collins made her top 10 debut and became the American number one female player. At the French Open, she lost to fellow American Shelby Rogers in straight sets in the second round. In Wimbledon, Collins lost in the first round to Marie Buzkova in three sets. At the same tournament, partnering Desiree Krachik, she reached the quarterfinals for a second time and then the semifinals for the first time at a major in doubles in her career. Seated 19th at the U.S. Open, she reached the round of 16 for the first time upon defeating two-time U.S. Open champion Naomi Osaka, Christina Buxa, and Alize Cornette. In the fourth round, she lost to world number no. 6 and eventual semifinalist Irina Sabalenka in three sets. 2023 First doubles title Collins started her 2023 season in Adelaide. Seated fifth at the first tournament, she lost in the first round to Elena Rybakina in three sets. Seated tenth at the second tournament, she reached the quarterfinals where she was defeated by sixth seed and world number no. nine, Veronika Kudermatova in three sets, despite having five match points during the match. Seated thirteenth as the prior year's finalist at the Australian Open, she beat Anna Kalinskaya in the first round. In the second round, she outlasted Karolina Muchova in a 2 hour and 56. Minute three set marathon match to I in the third round, she lost a 20 second seed and eventual finalist, Elena Rybakina, in three sets. Due to not defending her finalist points earned in 2022, Collins's ranking fell from 11 to 40 after the Australian Open. The week of February 6 saw Collins play at the Abu Dhabi Open. She was beaten in the first round by fifth seed and world number no. 12, Yelena Ostapenko, in three sets. At the Qatar Ladies Open, she suffered a second round thrashing at the hands of defending champion, world number no. 1, and eventual champion, IGA Swiatek, winning only one game. In Dubai, she fell in the first round to 17 year old Linda Favortova. Seated fourth at the inaugural edition of the ATX Open in Austin, Texas she reached the semifinals where she lost to eighth seed, Marta Kostuk, who would end up winning her first WTA Tour singles title. At the Indian Wells Open, she was defeated in the first round by lucky loser Dalma Galfi. Seated 30th at the Miami Open, she lost in the third round to third seed and compatriot, Jessica Pagula. Collins started her clay court season in April at the Charleston Open. Seated 13th, she lost in the first round to Shelby Rogers. In doubles, she won her first WTA Tour doubles title alongside compatriot Desiree Krauchik by beating top seeds Juliana Olmos and Aina Shibara in the final. She withdrew from both the Madrid Open and the Italian Open. Returning to action at the French Open, she was defeated in the first round by third seed Jessica Pagula. 
2024, Miami Open champion, returned to top 25 after her loss to world number no. 1 IGA Swiatek at the 2024 Australian Open, Collins announced that 2024 will be her last year of playing professional tennis. At the Abu Dhabi Open where she qualified for the main draw, she defeated former number 1, wildcard Naomi Osaka, in straight sets. The following week, she also qualified for the WTA 1000 Qatar Open and reached the quarterfinals defeating 13th seed Veronika Kudermatova, Marie Buzkova and Katerina Siniakova. In the quarterfinals, Collins lost to Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova in straight sets. In Indian Wells, Collins defeated Russian qualifier Erika Andreeva and then lost to IGA Swiatek in the second round. In Miami, she reached the quarterfinals for the third time at this tournament, with wins over Bernarda Pera, Russian's 30th seed Anastasia Potapova, and Alina Avanesian, and 19th seed Serena Sersti. She reached her second career WTA 1000 semifinal after 2018 Miami, with a win in straight sets against Caroline Garcia, increasing the head to head 4 0. She reached her first WTA 1000 final with a win over 14th seed Russian, Ekaterina Alexandrova, also in straight sets. Ranked number 53, she became the second lowest ranked finalist in Miami behind only Naomi Osaka and the fourth oldest first time WTA 1000 finalist since the category was introduced in 2009. With her straight sets win over previous year runner-up and fourth seed Elena Rybakina, she lifted her first WTA 1000 trophy, becoming the lowest-ranked champion, the third woman to win a maiden singles title in Miami after 30 since the first edition in 1985 and the sixth American. As a result, she returned to the top 25 in the rankings. At number 22, World Team Tennis Collins played her first season with World Team Tennis in 2019 with Billie Jean King's Philadelphia Freedoms. She started the 2020 season on the Orlando Storm roster which began July 12, but was dismissed from the league after leaving the state and breaching COVID-19 safety protocols. Playing style Collins employs a highly aggressive playing style that has been described as fearless, ferocious, and fun to watch. She has a powerful serve and strong ground strokes on both wings, making her one of the hardest hitters on the WTA Tour. Her style allows her to hit a high number of winners, but also a considerable number of high-risk unforced errors. Her greatest strengths are her kick serve, her inside-out forehand, and her versatile and strong backhand. Her double-handed backhand is atypically stronger than her forehand. She also possesses strong volleying skills, allowing her to hit winners from any position on the court. IGA Swiatek mentioned that Collins hits the fastest ball I have ever played in a match.